Hello, it's me. It's the goddaughter again. Coming back at you with some more truth. Today, I'm going to be talking about the war that has been going on in the Middle East from the beginning of time and why it's happening. And it all started out with a promise that God made to Abraham and Sarah. God made Abraham and Sarah a promise that Abraham would father um, basically a huge nation. And he made the promise to Abraham when he was of old age. However, uh, his wife, Sarah, um, wanted to make sure that God's promise was going to happen. So she sent her bonds made or her servant pretty much um, to sleep with Abraham and they had Ishmael and Ishmael is the father of the Islam religion the line of Ishmael also produced Muhammad Muhammad came from the same line of Ishmael this is the same line okay so now we go to Sarah she got pregnant. She 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 conceived a child. She conceived a child and named the child Isaac. Now Jesus came from the same bloodline that Isaac came from. So when Sarah um, had the baby, she pretty much didn't want Ishmael around because she felt that Isaac would be the chosen child and not Ishmael. So she sends um, Haggai and Ishmael out in the wilderness. However, God still blessed them as well, simply because, you know, it wasn't the child's fault. So now we have two sets of people whose father is Abraham, but they have different mothers. The Palestinian people... Um, which are majority of the Islamic people who comes from the seed of Ishmael um, are totally against the Jewish people who comes from the seed of Isaac. And um, basically they're fighting over land because they believe God promised, you know, Abraham's children uh, that specific land. Now, the problem is people, they don't, they don't know if it's the land of Ishmael children because Ishmael was there first, or they don't know if it's the land of Abraham and uh, Sarah, which is Isaac children, because God originally made the promise to Abraham and Sarah. So you have the, the, the Quran, which is what the Islamic people practice out of. You also have the Talmud, um, which is something that the Jewish people use, and the Tanakh, and then you also have what you know as the Bible, okay? And in the Bible, it talks about an uh, Antichrist, and this Antichrist is known as someone who's going to basically come in, um, make promises, and break all the promises that they make, and they're pretty much going to destroy anything dealing with purity and then in the Quran it talks about a Mahadi a Dajjal um, and this is basically the it describes the Antichrist um, which is the person well yeah the person who's going to destroy the Christians as the Islamic uh, people's the, the Islamic Savior so in the Quran they're looking at the Antichrist as the savior. And in the Bible, they're looking at the Antichrist as the destroyer. So it's two different depictions of what this person is coming to do. Okay. And that's why it's important to understand the history behind all of this, because this war is actually still happening right now in the Middle East. In 1948, um, basically, they told the Palestinians they had to get out of that land and made them refugees. So it was people who had to leave their homes and everything that they knew based off um, who we felt had the right to that land. 
So right now we're in a situation where history is pretty much repeating itself. Is the land belonging to Ishmael? because they were the first people technically there? Or do it belong to Isaac's kids? Because technically God did make the promise to Abraham and Sarah. So that's what this whole war is about. And it's crazy because like I said, Jesus came from the same line, um, Yahshua, he comes from the same line that Isaac begot and Ishmael um, line produced Muhammad. So these are two reputable people who started um, huge religions and um, they both come from different the different lines. So this is the whole story behind what's going on in the Middle East and it's as simple as a promise so yeah I feel personally that we have to come together and basically put our differences to the side because people are losing their lives right now because of what's happening over there in the Middle East so hopefully one day which the Bible says it'll never be peace. And whenever they say peace, that's when war is coming. But hopefully one day we'll be able to reach some type of conclusion where um, war is in a normal part of living in the Middle East. Thank you.